Hey guys, it's Steph with Steph's Adventures and Fab Finds. And I have got an unboxing to do today. Um, I am just sharing with you some of the regular shopping that I do and everything. And my handbag of the day, I have to show you, I just love and I have to give a good review for the Chloe Woody Small Tote. Um, of course, I got my Ray-Bans stuck on top of there. Or those Jim Mallies. I think they're Jim Mally. Yeah, Mally Jim, sorry. Um, and I have got a Hobo gold bag that I just purchased from Dillard's yesterday. Love it. Be able to stick down and be a, a kind of a... Um, what do you call it? A bag for that. Um, and inside of it, and I'll link a uh, link for the dis for the hobo bag. It's leather pocket here, magnetic closure, top handle with a cross body. Works perfect in my Chloe. And, of course, I've got my Louis Vuitton uh, denim um, key pouch and um, make a cosmetic bag. And I flip my cosmetic bag inside out. So, this is the bag for the day. And, of course, my all-important um, card holder couldn't live without that. So, yes, yes, yes. You know, I'm the bag lady anytime I see it. And this is just hope it was just a good deal. It's just good quality and really happy with that, how it works out with my Chloe tote. And um, has the ability to turn my Chloe tote into a, a cross body with a with a top handle. And um, and she stays pretty good. So so absolutely love that. Don't ask me how that's working out, but it is. So anyway, that was just a little tip on the small Chloe Woody tote. Uh, this hobo style handbag fits perfect inside. And the gold strap gives it just a wonderful touch. So getting to my unboxing. Um... This box is from Dillard's. Um, I believe it's my shoes that I ordered on a sale. Dillard's is a local department store. And so we'll see what we got inside. And I hope everybody's doing great. And it's the high today in Montgomery is gonna be 84 degrees. It's sun shining. It is gorgeous. I mean, just gorgeous. So I want to say hey to y'all and share some of my normal day-to-day -day shopping that I do. And um, this is a pair of, oh, and I just tried these on in the store. These are a pair of Copper Key um, leather ballet flats. And new, so, so glad that I got these. So, so glad I was able to order the, the wide online because they are a very, a very narrow shoe. But they are a good quality shoe. So, that's all important ballet flats that are so popular this year. And then the other two boxes are just some Ralph Lauren um, house shoes that I ordered that are on sale for $10 or $12, I believe. 
Um, and I know why I know that um, everybody is so anti-animal um, print. Beautiful box. Great time to buy a gift. Um, to put up for Christmas for next year. So that's the Ralph Lauren slippers. But of course, these are what I call carpet only shoes. And I usually take mine for travel. So that was those. Gorgeous gift. I like to buy it and stock up whenever they had these amazing sales. And I'm going to grab some more things to unbox and unbag. I'm going to put the Chloe. Sorry, I don't mean to be turning my back on you guys. Um, put the Chloe right there. And the camera may cut off. Because um, I need to get some stuff off of it. But we'll see what we can get in. And this is just an Alabama Crimson Tide t-shirt that I got from, I think from Dick's Sporting Goods. Not a great deal on it. Nike swoosh. Got a great deal on it for um, cuff sleeves for um, $16.97, I believe. Roll Tide. So, worried a little bit about having a new football coach this year, but we'll go, we got it. Okay. See what else we got. Um, okay. This looks like a good one. Tamper evident. Um, tape on yet. So I'm not sure what it is. But, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So. These are the Adidas Samas, I believe, OGs in the red. I finally hopped that train. I'm not a real big Adidas fan because the shoes run big. They either too small or too big. Okay. This, I think, is the six and a half in the kids. And we'll try them and see. So, and the jackpots have been scarce. We might be going to play like that. Ooh, yeah, no, these are way too big. I mean, can I wear them? Yeah, but I don't like them. I don't like them being too big. They're only about a half a size too big. So we'll see as to whether we want to keep them or not. They are cute.
and I got the children's in the six and a half because I wear a seven and a half in adults. And I think that's what these are. I ordered all kind of them, y'all, to see what would fit. It says USA six and a half, so we'll see. Um, we'll see about those. You know, I kind of want to love them enough to wear them a lot. It is the perfect shade of red to go with my um, Alabama stuff. Of course, not with the Nike Alabama shirt. I have to go with a different brand. But we'll see. And let's see what else we got. Moving right along. But there are tons and tons and tons of video tons of videos out on those OGs. And um yeah, I finally just hopped that train and and took a chance on those. Okay. Now these are the OGs from Dick's Sporting Goods and let's see what it says. A seven and a half is supposed to be women's and then I read on the review that it's actually a men's size and that they're going to be way too big. But I'm going to try them anyway and see. But from all accounts, what I've seen in the reviews is that they are way too big. That they do run big. But these, um, may slide off my heel a little bit. Of course, they're not tied up. But they feel like at the toe, that they're as close to fitting me as the, um, as the red ones were. So we'll see. I have to lace them up right and then do some walking. And I'm just saying, I think no matter what I do, to get them long, be long enough for my toes, that I'm probably just going to have to wear some socks with them to keep them on my feet. <clears throat> so we'll see how that goes. And... There's a lot, a lot of new things from LV that I want uh, from the flight collection. They've got a new toiletry pouch set. But like I said, yeah, I really don't see where I could have gone any, any smaller on these, maybe half a size. Um, and I just like these because they had the gum on them. I like that gum part and to me if you've got a big foot you don't want these because they're going to look long on your feet but they are cute so I like I said, I really could have gone like half a size, maybe a whole size, but I would say probably just half a size smaller in these, but they do give enough room for my toes, so. 